is going on my peeps board versatile is back with another video back talking to you guys about samsung galaxy s20 and specifically how to set up and how to use bixby routines first of all what is bixby routines well bixby routines is a way to program have your phone do specific things such as settings you know turn on turn off certain features and whatnot based on a time or based on a location so some of you guys especially those who are like into like the nerdy stuff about tech uh, and software and stuff like that you guys might remember the app if this then that so essentially you set it up to go if you know time or place then do this that and the third and so you can, I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do here but before I do make sure you guys ignite that like button subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys get informed when I drop videos now how do you get the Brixby routines? Well, the first thing you're probably going to have to do, since you probably don't have it activated out of the box, is go to settings, then you're going to go to advanced features. So once you go to advanced features, you're going to click on here, and then you see right up in here, Bixby routines. Now, of course, I already have mine on, but what you're going to want to do is turn it on, and you'll probably get welcome, because I can't actually remember. When you first turn them on, you're probably going to get welcomed by, like, welcome to Bixby routines, or, like, some type of quick introduction. So once you're in there, this is the next screen you're probably going to get, or you're going to be in the Discover side of things. And Discover gives you, like, basic, gen gen generic uh, routines that have already been formulated by Samsung. And, uh, of course, some of these work. Some of these might be exactly what you need. But most likely, you probably want to fine-tune your own type of routines for your phone. And so, as you guys see here, I have five of my own setup. I have one set up for at home. I have one set up for leaving work. I have one set up for... Uh, when I'm at my Christian meeting, I have one when I set up at work, and I have one set up for when I go to bed. So, how do you create these, and what would you want to create these for? Well, let's say, you know, you don't want to always have to toggle, like manually always have to toggle your Wi-Fi on and off between leaving home for work and getting home from work. You know, you can set up your phone to automatically do that for you via Bixby routines. So, in this case, I'm going to show you guys how I actually created one of these and the reason why I have two for work and leaving work is because when I'm at work I want specific settings set and I want specific settings to switch back once I leave work and so that's how intuitive and how granular these routines or these settings can be programmed via Bixby routines so I'm actually going to show you guys how I toggle my 5G as you guys can see up there right now I have 5G on because I'm at home uh, if it focuses correctly, I have 5G on right there, right? Well, when I'm at work, I, I use T-Mobile. T-Mobile's uh, 5G and 4G LTE in the downtown or uptown Charlotte area can be quite fidgety. So what I have to do is actually toggle off my network from 5G, LTE, 3G, and 2G to LTE, 3G, and 2G. So if anybody else has problems with their networks, this, this is a simple way to actually kind of solve that when you're in a, in a specific area where you know you're gonna want proper data throughput and network connectivity without having issues. So what, I, what you wanna do is hit the plus button. Once you hit the plus button, it's gonna ask you your trigger. So if, you can say if, and then you can set it up. Wake up time, work, home, before bed, sleeping, driving, traveling abroad, time, place, you know, uh, if you got, you know, headphones plugged in, charging status, battery level, Wi-Fi network, strength, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth devices, Samsung decks, sound mode, apps open, incoming call, start button tapped. So there's different things you can actually set this up for that you want specific things to be triggered. Let's say, you know, you want your you want a specific battery mode to kick in once you have this plugged into a charger. Well, you would come down here to charging status or battery level and then set things accordingly. But I'm going to show you the example of when I'm at work and I need to toggle my network differently. So I do time and place, right? But I pick place. So now if and then right here I can choose when I arrive and when I leave. And I use both of those toggles, one for work and one for leaving work, right? So wherever I work at, I'm going to have the location up here at the top. And once I do that, then I'm gonna hit done. Now it has if place, right? So, but well, you guys can't see the place, of course, cause that's where I live. But I'm gonna have, once I do that, then it's gonna ask me then. 
So once I hit the plus sign, once it knows I'm at a specific location, I want to now make the phone do something. So I will go in here to mobile data, it's on, right? But then I will go to network mode. So I go to network mode, and this is where you can switch your network mode. And so when I'm downtown Charlotte, I change my network mode from 5G, LTE, 3G, and 2G to LTE, 3G, and 2G. Now I don't have no problems with my network connectivity when I'm downtown Charlotte. So let's say, you know, the current location I'm at is work. I want to switch the mode to LTE, 2, uh, 3G, and 2G, and then I hit done. Then once I hit... And then you can add other stuff. So it's not just one command. You can actually add more commands. So you can do that. You can add another one and say, oh, toggle my Wi-Fi off. So when you're downtown and, or wherever you're at, if you're at work and you don't have Wi-Fi, you can have the phone to automatically toggle your Wi-Fi off once you, you know, arrive at work. Or if you wanted to do leaving home, when you leave home, it'll toggle off Wi-Fi for you as well. So it's different ways you can play around with being able to set up your... Let me turn the brightness up. Different ways you can actually set up your routines so that way they're specific to you, specific to what your needs are. And that's the beauty of Samsung. They allow you to get down and dirty, nitty-gritty into the phone and program the phone is specifically to what you want. So in this case, you know, you want Wi-Fi off, you hit done. And then once you hit done, it's going to ask you to name the routine, right? And then you, when you hit done, it starts. So just like that, you have a routine for when you arrive at work, you want your network to switch to LTE, 3G and 2G from 5G. And then you want your Wi-Fi to be toggled off. So it's not on just always scanning for networks. And that's a great way for you to save battery life, both in terms of 5G, even though they say technically you don't really lose battery with the new 5G modem. But then scanning for networks, you have it now turned off. You save that much more battery life. So and then, when, yeah, and then you hit done. So in this case, I'm not going to hit done because I don't actually need this. So I can discard that. So what I can show you is like I have a bedtime routine. So when it hits... For bedtime, I have a time. So once it hits like 11.30 to 9, you know, between 11.30 and 9 a.m., I have, you know, oh, this is where I can, oh, you know what, I can actually show you guys, because I was looking for this before. So once I hit time, I can actually select Sunday as well. <laughs> so I'm going to do that, and then I have it end at 9 o'clock. So my if statement here is once it hits 11.30 p.m., Sunday through Friday, you see that right there, right? Every, you know, through Sunday and Friday, I can now. Once that happens, I have my Do Not Disturb kicked on, and with Do Not Disturb, of course, it, you know, everything goes silent. Now, the only thing that I don't think happens here is it changes. Uh, I might have to do that by myself, but I'm gonna add another command, right? So, I want to go down here to media volume, and. It already has ringer off, right? Why all that stuff doesn't matter. So now I have my media volume on my phone speaker rather off and do not disturb on. And then when I hit done, I want to leave it named bedtime, right? And then I hit done and everything's good. So actually that was my routine I was looking for before this video. But that is a simple way that you can actually program your phone to do things that you want it to do and believe me there's a lot of things you can do in here that's why it's, there's too many for me to name because who knows what somebody wants done with their phone but there's a very good chance you're going to find it in Bixby routines so I thought I'd bring you this to you to show you guys just how much more personal you can make your phone your Samsung Galaxy device to you. You can also do Bixby routines on their tablets. I have a couple routines running on my Galaxy Tab S6 as well that also cut on and off Wi-Fi depending on when I leave, cut on like vib the vibration of notifications and stuff and I'm at specific locations and whatnot. So I have that already set up on my tablet and you can do that on your tablet. Uh, I would imagine that feature should go back to the Tab S4 and if it doesn't, the Tab S5e the and the Tab S6 and no doubt the Tab S6 Lite when that comes out and the Tab S6 5G when that comes out. But yes, you can personalize your phone with Bixby routines and you'll be good to go.
So those are my feet. Those are the uh, that's Bixby routines. I thought I'd bring that to you guys, and hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy using that once you kind of dig in there and figure out how you want to set up your own phone. But leave down comments uh, in the section. You know, comment down below if you guys have ever used Bixby routines. If you guys have certain things set up uh, that you know you guys find or didn't know you could do that makes your phone feel even more personal to you. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. I'll be mean, interested to know uh, just like a few things. You don't have to be super specific, but that'd be dope. So I uh, hope you guys appreciate the video. Your boy Verso signing out. And until the next video, I'm about to hit a routine to cut this video off. Whoa. Wait for it.